In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to declare libraries and use them. Recently, the syntax for declaring and importing libraries has changed, so I'm going to use the new syntax. Let's start with declaring libraries. Here I have a small library named company with two classes in it, employee and manager. Employee can rest and do some work. Manager never stops working, and every time he or she is working, some employee has to work as well. The way you declare a library is by using the library statement, like this. A library can be split into multiple files, each one of which is called a part. You declare all the parts of your library right after the library statement. And inside each part, you use the part of statement. It's worth mentioning that the file names don't have to correspond with the class names. All class names within a library can reference each other. Here, for example, manager depends on employee, but I don't need any imports to make it work. OK, let's look at how to import a library. The simplest case is to import the whole library without specifying any prefixes, like this. Having this import, I can reference both employee and manager. However, very often to avoid name collisions, you have to prefix an imported library. The recommended way, however, is to import only classes that are actually being used. And the show modifier allows us to do exactly that. Now the employee class is successfully resolved and manager isn't. Sometimes though, you really want everything from a library, except maybe one or two classes. Maybe you have some sort of name collision. In this case, you can exclude those classes using the height modifier. A little bit more on name collisions. Here we have two libraries declaring the manager class. And you can import both the libraries without giving them prefixes, as long as you don't reference the manager class. If you do though, you will get an error. In this case, you have to prefix one of the libraries. Another cool feature is re-exporting libraries. For instance, here I have a library named Exporting Employee that exports employee from the company library. After I've imported it, I can only use the employee class. The re-exporting I've just showed can be used in many different scenarios. One of them is combining several libraries into one. Another one is providing different subsets of one library to different clients. Thanks for watching.